Hello everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Becca and today I have your monthly dose of unboxing chaos. So these are all of the subscription boxes that arrived in May. We have six in total this time. Three are rep packages. Three of them I paid for myself as we go through. I will of course let you guys know which is which. And in my description box you will find a link to all of the boxes, any shops that I mention in this video and any discount codes I have as well for those rep packages. This video is going to be chaptered as well. So if you guys don't want to be spoiled for anything, if you want to skip ahead to anything, you can do that along the bar at the bottom and just just go where you need to be i do just have one little bookish envelope this is from daisy and b which is the bookmark company owned by steph from steph loves and jade from jd ray reads and i think that these are the whatever -a thon bookmarks that have been sent to all of the hosts i have a couple from illumicrate one i have paid for and one is a rep package the one that i pay for myself is the quarterly romance box afterlight in here you get one romance release as well as i think it's two to three like self-care items and then i do of course have the standard may box which was sent to me by the team over at illumicrate to show to you guys illumicrate are a monthly sci-fi and fantasy subscription box in here you'll get a brand new sci-fi or fantasy hardback release in an exclusive edition as well as a selection of bookish goodies and as this was sent to me by illumicrate i do have a discount code my code is becca5 and that will get you a discount on a three or six month subscription i also have a couple from fairy loot the one that i paid for is of course the monthly adult subscription this is a book only subscription and you get a fantasy hardback in an exclusive edition every month i know what this book is and i know what the monthly illuminate book is they're both the same book and it's not a book that i want but i will be reading it at some point in the future so we'll see how that goes and i do also of course have the regular may ya fairy loot this one was sent to me by the team over at fairy loot to show to you guys so thank you so much to fairy loot for that and fairy loot are a UK based YA fantasy subscription box where every month you will get a brand new hardback release and a selection of bookish goodies. I have something new here today which is from Fox and Wit. Fox and Wit are a US based subscription box. They have a monthly YA box, a monthly adult box, special editions. I think they have a general bookish shop as well and they asked me if I want to be a very short term rep for this specific box which is a special edition box of A Promise of Fire by Amanda Boucher who I actually just met at Rare Edinburgh so I actually forgot about this otherwise I would have taken this with me to be personalised. But I'm really excited to open this. Thank you so much to Fox and Wit for sending this one to me and if you want to get your hands on this my code is Becca 5. And the final one is another one that I pay for which is the Goldsboro Science Fiction and Fantasy Fellowship. This one is a obviously science fiction and fantasy subscription. It's book only and every month you will get a hardback that is in an exclusive edition I think they all are now. They tend to have like spread edges or something and they are all signed and numbered first editions as well. Cracking into the actual opening of these we will start off with the bookmarks from Daisy and B. while this is just a nice small little package we'll ease into it. Thank you so much to Daisy and B for sending these to me. The shop will be linked in the description. As always we have a little business card with the information on and this is the five bookmark set for Whatever-thon. If you don't know what Whatever-thon is it is a one month long readathon that is hosted by Maddie from Book Browse blog. The 2022 round is coming up in June and we have four teams so there's a bookmark for every team plus the general readathon one. So my team is obviously the best bookmark which is Shelf Slayers but we also have the Beach Readers, Sunset Scholars, oh no they're the TBR Travellers my bad and the Sunset Scholars bookmark as well as don't be a dick. I've actually been in a bit of a slump for a while but I'm finally getting my reading mojo back so I'm really excited for whatever fun to start. I don't want to jinx myself and say I'm gonna smash it but I will say that my attitude towards reading is in a very good place at the minute. So next up we will go for the Fox and Wit one which honestly just because I'm so excited to see it because I've never had anything from Fox and Wit before. I know that they've been having issues with just like the general paper shortage that's happening around the world and like causing whole everywhere and so I think they changed some of the details about this box and I can't remember exactly what this is going to be now it might be the US paperback okay so we have a book and a 
pin um and oh the pin is really pretty and it is crossed swords over a pillar and then we have the book in tissue paper a bookmark it just fell out as i was opening it that's the back of it that's what that looks like it's pretty sturdy as well because it's a wood mark this one is just one of their mini boxes they do have like different types of boxes available from their store but oh my god the us paperback of this it has pink sprayed edges but this is what i'm most excited about oh my god i love it i wish it's so annoying because this arrived before i went to rare and like completely didn't click that i could take this with me to have it signed it's fine because i do have like the uk paperback of this signed but if you guys don't know what a promise of fire is it is a adult fantasy romance following a girl called cat who is hiding out as a soothsayer at a circus and a guy called griffin comes along to the circus where cat is and ends up taking her and dragging her off back to where his family are because his family have just conquered a territory and it is very hard to hold a territory in this world unless you have magical abilities and his family don't so he takes cat because she's a powerful magic wielder but what he doesn't know is that the things that she's hiding from are actually like a much bigger deal than um you would anticipate it has a lot of greek mythology in here and it's also really funny i really love this book and i've been meaning to continue with the series for a while and i also did just meet amanda boucher who is a sweetheart i've also also interviewed her on my channel as well which if you guys are interested in that i will link it up here but if you want to get your hands on the promise of firebox my code is becca5 so next up we'll do the should we do the golds bro i am about to do i say about to do it's gonna happen in the next month month and a half but i will be doing the third installment in my vlog series where i read the books from the last three gold boxes and let you guys know whether i think the gold subscription box is worth not it's not for you guys really it's whether it's worth my time because i'm paying for it every month i need to hold myself accountable and actually make sure that i'm reading these books because it is one a month it's a substantial amount of books the thing that i love about goldsboro is that the books come very well bubble wrapped and i've said this before but as a small business owner i love a lot of bubble wrapping parcels because then it saves me money because i don't have to order as much the last round of this didn't go well and i'm going to be doing the next round soon so i'm a little bit nervous is this the final book that i need i think it might be this will be the final book that i need for the next installment and it is the one that i'm most excited about it is collarbound by rebecca zahabi the last two goldsboro books have been historical which i don't love historical so i'm a little bit worried but i'm hoping for good things from this one so we have an ombre sprayed edge on here let's have a look at what number i have number 105 that's really low i don't think i've ever had a number that low before i will read you the synopsis of this because i read it way back when it was announced because they do announce what the gsff picks are going to be ahead of time and i have no recollection anymore a man marked by magic a woman marked by her past on the other side of the shadow past rebellion is brewing and refugees have begun to trickle into the city at the edge of the world looming high on the cliff is the nest a fortress full of mages who offer protection but also embody everything the rebellion is fighting against a strict hierarchy based on magic abilities when isha arrives as a refugee she attempts to fit in amongst the other mages but her cur tattoo brands her as an outcast she can't remember her past or why she has the tattoo all she knows is that she survived she doesn't intend to give up now tatters who wears the golden collar of a slave knows that this rebellion is different from past skirmishes he was once one of the rebels and technically they still own him he plans to stay in the shadows until isha appears in his tavern he's never seen a human with a cur tattoo and the markings look eerily familiar as the rebellion carves a path of destruction towards the city an unlikely friendship forms between a man trying to escape his past and a woman trying to uncover hers until their secrets threaten to tear them apart so definitely sounds more up my street than the last two girls were books have been so fingers crossed because I've, I've not been having a good run recently with this subscription <laughs> okay so next up we will do the illumicrate starting off with the afterlight so this is the quarterly romance book the reason why i get this one is because i mean i have just done a romance haul which i think i'm not sure what order i'm posting videos in at the minute so i can't tell you whether it's like coming before or after this one but i originally signed up for this subscription because i've been getting into contemporary romance for the last like year year and a half and because i'm only just getting into it i didn't have a big selection so i wanted somebody to just like send me a romance book every now and again without me having to do the research and find it for myself because i'm lazy like that 
that. So the After Light box is perfect for me in that regard. I will show you guys the spoilers for this in case you want to see them. I will be going in blind. I don't even know what the book is for this month. But on top, we have a bookmark. On one side, it says, imagine that Faye, we're alive and I love you. And on this side, it says, you made a fool of death with your beauty. We also have a little glass nail file, which is, it has a little pretty end on it. These, I don't use nail files often because as you guys can tell, I have acrylic nails, but it is super pretty. And I do have like, I've got a snapped one right now. So I do occasionally need a nail file. And we also have, oh, this is a really small, I thought this was like a bag folded up, but it's a little small bag. I think actually that it is like a, let's open it and see, like a lunch bag kind of situation because it has like it feels very thick yes it is it's insulated on the inside okay so this is cool i mean it, it's very bright it's obnoxiously colored i think it's tropical themed according to the spoiler card but i am planning on doing a little a little vlog that's themed around a certain book which will involve me going out for a day and reading in a different location and i'll i'll be taking stuff with me so i guess like i would have some use for this and finally the book of the month is a hardback this time interesting oh it's very pink and the afterlight book for me is oh i saw this i literally saw this in a shop the other day and read the synopsis and thought it sounded interesting. Okay. So this is You Made a Fool of Death for Your Beauty by Akweke Amizi. I think that this is the author of Pet, maybe. I saw this in a bookstore and I wasn't getting romance vibes from it. And this has a solid like pinky, is it purple? Yeah, it's a purple spread edge, which is like nice, it's fine, but the one that I saw in the bookstore, like the first edition run of this book, has this printed on the edge, which is why I picked it up to have a close look at the edges because they have this printed. So the actual standard edition is nicer than the like edging on the Illumicrate, which is sad, but it is signed by the author. And the synopsis on this is very short, so I will read it out because I don't actually remember it, but I wasn't getting, I was getting like romantic vibes, but not romance vibes from it. So this says, is the opportunity of a lifetime. Faye is about to be given the chance to escape the city's blistering heat for a Dream Island holiday. Poolside cocktails, beach sunsets, and elaborate meals. And as the sun goes down on her old life, our heroine also might just be ready to open her heart to someone new. The only problem is she's falling for the one man she absolutely can't have. So I got like contemporary with romance vibes, not romance. So I'll be interested to see how this one plays out. As usual with these things, let me know down in the description box what your favorite item from each of the boxes I unboxed today is. I gotta say, this is probably my least favorite afterlight that I've had. I don't actually have a favorite item from this box. But like with the book, this is not a book that I would have picked up for myself, which is kind of the point of me like purchasing the subscription. So we'll see how the book is. And I guess the book would probably be my favorite item from this box. So moving on to the standard Illumicrate. Remember, if you want to get your hands on an Illumicrate, check out on a three or six month subscription. You can use my code BECCA5, which will get you a discount. I can't remember what the theme of this month is, but I know that the book is Book of Night by Holly Black, which I've somehow ended up, uh, by the end of this unboxing, I will have ended up with three copies of this book. And Holly Black is an author that I vehemently always say, I will never read another book by her. And now I'm gonna have to eat my words, because if I have three copies of this book, I, I have to read one of them. So so no shade to Illumicrate for like picking the book, but like it, it's just personally not something that I was ever going to pick up for myself. I've only heard terrible things about it as well, which isn't helpful. But I'm, I am willing to give it a go. I don't like any of the Holly Black YA that I've read, which means that I don't want to read anymore because it's her writing style that I don't like. But this is her first adult book, so I will at least attempt it. But the theme for me is in the dark. Here are the spoilers if you'd like to pause and take a look. And the theme for next month is fight for your future and this one is for fans of the Greenbone saga a closed and common orbit girls of paper and fire and an officially licensed dark artifices item which i actually like all of those theories okay so first off we have one of the collectible teacups this one is actually very exciting probably the one that i'm most excited for because it's nyx who i believe is the goddess of night yeah so we have the teacup and the saucer also the color palette on this one as you guys can probably tell matches the room that I'm in. This one is very pretty. I have a feeling that I'm really going to like this box because all of the items are going to be night themed even though I'm not particularly interested in the book. Oh pretty saucer. So this has a big crescent moon on there. 
I don't know where to put this now that I've unboxed it. We'll put it up here. So this seems to be a very pretty notebook. Quite a sturdy, good quality one. It has a really buttery cover. And it also has a little loop for a pen here. And the quote on the front, I think, is from Daughter of the Moon Goddess. But it says, How dark the night which stretched before us, yet ablaze with the light of the moon and stars, it felt bright as day. And that quote is Sue Lintan. Oh, okay. It's a black page bullet journal, which I've seen people who have these and they look absolutely gorgeous because, like, like you can use white pens and metallic pens. So that's really cool and I've never seen, I've seen obviously like journals and stuff in subscription boxes before, but never like such a like good quality feeling one. Down the side here we have this, which I'm going to assume is some kind of bookmark, which Oh yes, I'm so glad that they've done another one of these. So when they did the Night Circus Special Edition box, they included a bookmark like this. And while it was gorgeous, I just don't really like the Night Circus. This is gorgeous. I, I kind of have to keep it on the card because it's, otherwise you will just be able to see through it. I hope you guys can tell that it is a metal bookmark that is super intricate. I don't actually know, I don't think what the inspiration for this is, although something about it is seeming familiar. It's inspired by Monstrous, which I'm assuming is the comic, and I cannot for the life of me remember who writes that, but that is a comic that I have. I've had it for such a long time and I still haven't started that and I really need to. But yeah, I'm so, I'm so happy that they've decided to include one of these in one of their normal boxes. The items in this month's box are solid, so I'm really excited to see the addition especially because we're going to be opening another edition of the same book in this video. Now, so we have this, which I think is one of their replicas. They've been making little, I don't know what they're made out of, enamel possibly. This is, it's one of the weapon replicas, but this one is Nevernight. This one is Mia's Gross Von Dagger. Nevernight is one of my favourite series. And look at that. That's super cool. And I have um, a G. Kristoff shelf. I think it's this one here. So I can just like lay that on there. That's real pretty. I do like these. Um, but only when they're for like series that I'm more interested in. So like a Nevernight one is perfect. And then I think the final item in here is the book of the month, which is of course going to be the book of night by Holly Black. I think, is this just kind of inverted? I will overlay the original cover over the top as this is an exclusive edition for Illumicrate. I think I have one over there that I really don't want to get up and get right now, but the original is dark blue. I actually kind of like this with the monochrome and then there's some like silver foiling under here as well. Solid black braid edge on this one. Exclusive end pages. Oh, I've just seen this. This is really pretty. Foiling under the dust jacket. We also have the letter from the author bound into the book on this one. It's such a shame that I don't want to read this but this is actually quite a pretty edition. I am going to read the synopsis because I have no clue what this is about. It says Charlie Hall has never found a lock she couldn't pick, a book she couldn't seal or a bad decision she wouldn't make. She spent half her life working for the glow mists. Magicians who manipulate shadows to peer into locked rooms, strangle people in their beds or worse. Glow mists guard their secrets greedily, creating an underground economy of grimoires and to rob their fellow magicians they need Charlie. Now she's trying to distance herself from past mistakes but going straight isn't easy bartending at a dive so contemporary fantasy again she's still entirely too close to the corrupt underbelly of the Berkshires not to mention that her sister Posey is desperate for magic and that her shadowless and possibly soulless boyfriend has been keeping secrets from her when a terrible figure from her past returns Charlie descends back into a maelstrom of murder and lies determined to survive she's up against a cast of doppelgangers mercurial billionaires glow mists and the people she loves the best in all the world all trying to steal a secret that will allow them to control the shadow world and more. It sounds intriguing but it's like I said it's the writing style that I actually have an issue with and not like the concept or the plot of any of her books. So I love this box. My favourite items, probably the bookmark because it is an item that I've loved previously and I do really like the journal but I'm not, I will keep it because I hoard stationery for no reason but I don't know if I'll ever use it. Maybe if I just, uh, it makes me want to invest in some real nice like metallic pens but um i'm i'm also one of those people who doesn't like to use notebooks like fresh notebooks unless i have some inspired reason to which i know it's stupid but i also know that a lot of us do it so while we're on book of night let's do the adult fairy loot which is once again gonna be book of night by holly black i actually got spoiled for this edition on twitter but i thought because no they didn't say what edition it was they just posted a picture and didn't say that it was spoilers or anything i thought that it was actually the fairy loot one because it's like an inverted design which fairy loot have done with the first two books of their adult subscription but the theme for this is into the shadows the back just says that it's book of night and let's have a little look black spirit edge 
Okay. Okay. I like both, but they're very different aesthetics. I think I like the black and gold more because as a person, I really like black and gold together. Oh, this also has exclusive end papers, which are different on both sides. And if anything's gonna get me interested in a book I don't wanna read, it's an attractive man. And we also have naked hardcover stuff on this one, although this one is printed on, not embossed. So I prefer the um, like actual embossing of the Illumicrate edition but like visually stunning and this one is find by holly black so obviously i don't need to tell you what this is about because i've literally just read the synopsis off the illumicrate one but i think preference wise i know for sure that i won't be keeping all of these i will be keeping them until i've read the book but then i, I can't see me keeping all of these in my personal collection and i think at the minute it is the fairy loot one that I prefer slightly, but I think that they're both beautiful. The only reason that I can pick between them is because as a person, I prefer black and gold to black and white. <laughs> and then the final box is the May fairy loot. So I cannot remember what the theme of this is. I know that I've known at some point in the past what the book is. I can no longer remember. So the theme this month is cloak and dagger so a theme that i will potentially really enjoy with spoilers there for those of you who would like to read them first off at the top of this box i can see a couple of quite chunky boxes so i'm excited to see what we have here this one's quite heavy is it some kind of like ceramic oh it's a mug i forget that the fairy loot ones come in like slightly wider boxes than the illumicrate ones this one says on it celestial kingdoms mug and i believe that this one is inspired by daughter of the moon goddess by Sulin Tan. The artwork, as always, is gorgeous. And I love me a bookish mug, although I think at some point, because I have so many now, I'm gonna have to do something, put into storage or something, the ones for fandoms that I'm not interested in, instead of just keeping them all, because it's gonna get to a point where like I have to have a limit, you know? Like, I, I can't keep displaying them. They're double stacked across the shelf now. This is a Stardust tea strainer, which is amazing, because I always want tea strainers. The one that I have, I don't particularly like. So this is for loose leaf tea. I believe with this one, you see it across i like the style of this one actually you sit this across your cup then you can just very easily take the tea out the one that i'm currently using is one that you like it's like a tea ball that you put into your drink but i hate trying to close those they're actually yes they're a nightmare to close and i fling tea everywhere so this will be so much better and if you guys can see oh hey there is some writing on the side here and it says neither here nor there but long ago and that is from the stardust thief by chelsea abdullah oh my god i just see i i, I just saw something red rising inspired one of my favorite series ever if not my favorite series and this is it's fallen off the card there's the card. It's a bottle opener. There's a side. This is really interesting actually because I do have another bookish bottle opener which is Scythe by Neil Shusterman. So that is also a Scythe. And this one says Ordentus Fortuna Juvat, which is very bad Latin on my behalf. Notice the theme here. We have a lot of drinkware in this box are like drink related items, a tea strainer for your tea, a bottle opener for your beer, and a mug for I guess your tea or your beer, depending on what mood you're in. We also have something that isn't drink related, which is a couple of bookish scrunchies. They're both inspired by From Blood and Ash by Jennifer L. Armentrout. And I like that they're the silky material ones because I've had ones that are like more rigid material in subscription boxes. And I find that I can't like tie them around my hair properly. So they will come in use because we always love a scrunchie. We also have the next two bookmarks in the mythology collectible bookmark range that Fairy Loot are doing. So this is number three and number four. And they are Loki and Kumaho. I really like the design on both of these. And then before we get to the book of the month, we have the next two tarot cards from fairy loot which is like the bonus collectible item and oh my god i love the art on these this is the empress and is it the hierophant i don't know for sure what this is i am going to check the spoiler card but i have a feeling that this is is it these hollow vows by lexi ryan is that what that book's called just because when i received that book i said that the fan art of the characters looked a lot like rowan and reese from various sarah j mass series yes they're from um, these hollow vows by lexi ryan honestly i need to read that book just because i'm 
obsessed with the art, but just how much they look like Rowan and Reese is the one of the main reasons why I haven't read that book yet. This is a really good box item-wise from Fairyloot, I would say, possibly one of my favourites. So Illumicrate and Fairyloot knocking it out of the park item-wise this month. And oh, the book of the month is The Stardust Thief by Chelsea Abdullah. He didn't know that this was YA. In here as well, we do of course have the letter from the author on the back of some really pretty art. We have the monthly fairy scoop with the information on the back about next month's box, which is going to be Chosen Ones, and it is for fans of the Atlas Six, the Poppy Ward, the Young Elites, and the Lord of the Rings. Oh, and it'll also have an additional paperback book in there as well, which is cool. And then we should also have, yeah, the bookmark of the month that has the like little snippet of the foil card art on there. So let's look at this edition. I will be getting another copy of this. The reason why I know this book existed but like didn't know that it was Young Adult is because it is one of the book of the month selections for June I believe. But this edition from Fairy Lou has some real pretty foiling under the dust jacket. We have a solid purple sprayed edge. I'm gonna go out on a limb and make an educated guess that the yeah the end papers in here are definitely exclusive to fairy Lou and real pretty as always and as usual it is also signed by the author so i can't remember once this is one of the ones where i read the synopsis once but didn't retain it i will of course as well overlay the standard cover over the top so that you guys can see the difference but this is one of the ones where i read the synopsis once and didn't retain it so i will read it out to you neither here nor there but long ago which is what's on the tea strainer luli al nazari is the midnight merchant a criminal who with the help of her gym bodyguard hunts and sells illegal magic. When she saves the life of a cowardly prince, she draws the attention of his powerful father, the Sultan, who blackmails her into finding an ancient lamb. With no choice but to obey or be executed, Luli Jun- is it Luli or Lulai? Luli? Lulai? I'm gonna go Lulai. Lulai journeys with the Sultan's oldest son to find the artifact. Aided by her bodyguard who has secrets of his own, they must survive ghoul attacks, outwit a vengeful Jin queen, and confront a malicious killer from Lulai's past. And in a world where story is reality and illusion is truth, Lulai will discover that everything, her enemy, her magic, even her own past, is not what it seems, and she must decide who she will become in this new reality. So yeah, I have read the synopsis before and it is something that I'm interested in, and it is also inspired by stories from 1001 Nights which um I do like a 1001 Nights retelling to be fair. So yeah that was the May Fairy Loot favourite item from this month's box. This is like probably one of my favourite Fairy Loot boxes but my favourite item I think is the tea strainer. I love me some loose sleeve tea but sometimes you know when it's just too much hassle to make yourself a drink so you'd just rather not drink it at all. That's how I've been feeling with my tea bowl recently because I just fling tea everywhere while I'm trying to fill the strainer. But yeah let me know down in my comments what your favourite item from all of these boxes are. Everybody who's been mentioned in this video, as I said at the beginning, there will be links to all of the websites for all of the boxes and all of their social media for you guys to check out. And there will also be discount codes where I have them for you guys. But aside from that, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it this far, if you have, please don't forget to like if you liked it and subscribe if you wanna. If you head to my description box, you'll find a link to my Goodreads Instagram and Twitter if you'd like to follow me on any of those, as well as a link to my Bookish Candle website, the Instagram for that, and a 10% off discount code. That's it from me today guys bye oh you bite your friend like chocolate you say you're a go where nobody knows with guns hidden under our petticoats we're never gonna quit it no we're never gonna quit it no